Hey guys, this is Mick Brighton from Higher Brow. This channel is about relationships and society. Welcome back to our channel. In this video, I am going to discuss about the warped reality between men and women that's destroying relationships today. Love and partnership. So many of us spend a good chunk of our lives looking for the one. But what happens when you actually find someone? How do I know if they're the person that's right to spend rest with or even start relationship on my own terms? While compatibility is no guarantee in longevity, studies show it directly related quality satisfied relationships are better off more compatible partners than less so don't give up hope just yet. When we find someone to spend the rest of our lives with, how can we be 100% sure that they will make us happy? What about compatibility is it a guarantee for long-lasting blissful relationships, or is this just something people say when things are going smoothly in their love life? Studies show that, while there may not always have been an immediate connection between you and your partner at first glance, research has shown which types tend toward having happier marriages over time, accordingly so too does more compatible couples. To understand whether or not you and your significant other are compatible, it's important to know the warning signs of an incompatible match. Signs that he, she might be right for them. 1. He is always there when I need him but doesn't seem like a priority in life. 2. She listens attentively. 3. They both do their own thing. 4. We discuss our differences on occasion without getting into too much detail. 5. Our fights don't last long. 6. Neither one tries harder than they have. 7. There has been no dramatic deterioration since meeting each other. 1. You don't get each other. If you can't understand what your partner is feeling or thinking, or if they have a hard time understanding how to respond in certain situations without being prompted by someone else first, this might mean that there isn't enough sync between the two of you for things to work out long term. Regardless of both parties' individual desire otherwise, it's better when people connect on an intuitive level. It lessens misunderstandings and miscommunication piles up which will eventually damage any potential relationship from its beginning stages. What's the opposite of love? Not hate. 2. It's not a coincidence that every healthy relationship has at least a few similarities to their partner. And it can be refreshing when you have someone so radically different from yourself in your life. But sadly this excitement won't last forever because after time wears off all. We're left with this boring old routine. They fight over whose favorite color or whether bread needs milk will get them out of jail free anything. Except talking about what brought us together originally, how much these individuals mean. You try to change each other, not grow and learn together. THREE -E, the hallmark of a strong healthy relationship is having someone. In fact that's how relationships work it must be something you want because. They won't force their way into what makes up your life entirely on their own terms. If there isn't mutual interest or desire from both parties involved. Despite expressing irritation with the current state at times, or even being dissatisfied, trying constantly pushing through these feelings. Until finally giving in just leads people down paths, where resentment builds between partners. Leaving them feeling unhappy about themselves. The constant and often spiteful fighting is unhealthy. 4. But it's better to have a few flare-ups than an endless cycle of negativity. When you can't even agree on things as simple going out for dinner with friends. Or taking care of one another's needs in bed without being disagreeable about them. Then there may be deeper issues at hand that need addressing before any progress will ever happen. Between the two partners involved. Intermittent arguments are not necessarily bad. Sometimes people just let their tempers fly when they feel like something isn't fair. Which really doesn't seem so terrible compared side living together under persistent resentment from both sides. Dealing with conflict is not easy, but it's necessary for your relationship to work. 5. When you don't deal with problems in a healthy way, they can lead into more serious issues, that neither of us want or need. It may seem like fighting will harm the bond between two people, who love each other so much. But on the contrary their arguments help them grow stronger over time, as well as gain new insights about themselves. Which allows both partners feel closer than ever before by digging deeper within themselves, and understanding one another better. Your socializing is isolated from everyone else, SIX. Do you find that when your partner and or friends go out, it's nearly always only with each other? No parties or group hangouts? Have they never taken any time for themselves, by going back home to meet their loved ones? If so then this could be an issue since these people are very important in someone else's life. 
It might help if we take some steps together like spending more quality moments being socialized. Face to face rather than just online where everything seems fancier and lastly but most importantly, even when everything seems perfect on paper, 7. If you don't have any romance or chemistry it's simply not going to work. Without an inkling of those factors people might think. They are in love with their best friend instead and, thus naturally drawn towards other individuals, whom share that same, more than friends attraction so much more easily compared them as being, the one. True love is like a game of chess. It takes strategy, focus and commitment to make it work over time, not just for the sake of saying you were in an exclusive relationship. The person who has your heart will not always see things as they do. There are no perfect matches on this earth. Everyone goes through disagreements or doubts from one moment to opposition phase with their partner but what matters most at these times, apart perhaps only sometimes, is finding someone worth sacrificing. Everything else so that's why I'm giving myself up completely. Valuing them above anyone. Find this video. The warped reality between men and women that's destroying relationships today. Useful. And if you want more videos on highbrow, make sure you subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos. If you feel the content is useful, please hit the like button. I really hope this video helps, and if you have any questions or doubts, please leave a comment below, and we will revert back.